Ally Sheedy, known for her captivating performances, rose to fame in the 1980s with a string of successful films. A key figure in the Brat Pack, a group of young actors who frequently appeared together in teen-oriented films, she became a familiar face to audiences worldwide. Her portrayal of misfit Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club remains a defining role, showcasing her ability to connect deeply with viewers. Sheedy's career spans various genres, demonstrating her adaptability and skill in bringing diverse characters to life on screen. Her work continues to be celebrated for its authenticity and emotional depth. Ally Sheedy is an actress known for her roles in 1980s films like The Breakfast Club and St. Elmo's Fire. Her performances have left a lasting impression on audiences around the world. Now, we're curious to know from all of Ally Sheedy's memorable roles, which one stands out to you as the most defining of her career? And do you have a special memory related to Ally Sheedy that you hold dear? We'd love for you to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned, as we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts about Ally Sheedy to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about this beloved actress. Ally Sheedy grew up in New York City with her mother, Charlotte, a writer and press agent, and her father, John, an advertising executive. Her mother's involvement in the literary world and her father's experience in advertising exposed Ally to creative expression from a young age. She attended the American Ballet Theater and acted in local stage productions, which sparked her interest in acting. Her mother's connections allowed her to publish a book at the age of 12. She also wrote for her school newspaper. These experiences helped shape her as an actress, and her parents' support was crucial in her pursuit of an acting career. She was inspired by the actors and writers she met through her mother's work, which led her to study drama at Columbia University. Ally Sheedy was born on June 13, 1962, in New York City. She grew up in an environment filled with creativity. Her mother was a writer, and her father worked in advertising. She attended Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School, where she became interested in acting. Sheedy's early life was marked by her involvement in local stage productions, which sparked her passion for acting. This passion led her to study drama at the University of Southern California. Her early experiences in acting and her family's support played a significant role in shaping her career in the film industry. She gained recognition in the 1980s with roles in popular films like The Breakfast Club and St. Elmo's Fire, which established her as a prominent figure in Hollywood. Her dedication to her craft and her performances in these early roles laid the foundation for her successful acting career. Ally Sheedy, known for her role in The Breakfast Club, found her passion for acting during her teenage years. As a young girl, she was involved in writing and had a book published. However, it was the experience of being on stage for a school play that sparked her interest in acting. She enjoyed the thrill of performing and the ability to connect with the audience. This moment was pivotal, leading her to pursue acting as a career. She felt alive and excited every time she stepped on stage, and this feeling confirmed her desire to become an actress. Her early success in television and film only fueled her passion further, solidifying her decision to embrace acting full-time. Ally Sheedy, known for her role in The Breakfast Club, once auditioned for the part of Samantha Baker in Sixteen Candles, a role that ultimately went to Molly Ringwald. She made her film debut as J.C. Waylinski in Bad Boys, which was also the first feature film for actors Jason Jedrick, Clancy Brown, and Alan Ruck. Breaking new ground, Sheedy was the first woman born female to take on the role of Hedwig in Hedwig in The Angry Inch, portraying the transgender rock star with a performance that stood out in the world of stage musicals. Her career choices often challenged norms and opened doors for diverse representation in the arts. Ally Sheedy, known for her role in The Breakfast Club, faced significant challenges when starting her acting career. She struggled with limited funds and had to take on various jobs to support herself. The film industry was also doubtful of her abilities, often overlooking her talent. Despite these obstacles, Sheedy showed great determination. She took acting classes and went to countless auditions, which eventually led to her breakthrough role. Her journey is a testament to her strong will and ability to find creative ways to succeed despite the odds. Ally Sheedy left a lasting impression as Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club, a role that connected her to a network of actors across different projects. 
Emilio Estevez, who played Andrew Clark, has a link to the Dead Zone through his father, Martin Sheen, who starred in the 1983 film. This connection extended as Anthony Michael Hall and Ali Sheedy both appeared in the television adaptation of The Dead Zone, with Hall in the lead role. During her career, Sheedy's personal life intersected with her professional one when she became pregnant while working on One Night Stand. Her portrayal of Leslie Hunter in St. Elmo's Fire showcased her influence behind the scenes as well, recommending Judd Nelson for his role, marking another collaboration between the two after The Breakfast Club. Their joint work continued, leading them to star in Blue City, and later share their experiences in the documentary Don't You Forget About Me. These moments highlight Sheedy's active participation in shaping her career and connections within the film industry. Ally Sheedy's career had a significant turning point with her role in The Breakfast Club, where she played the character Allison Reynolds. This film, directed by John Hughes, became a classic and is still loved today. Her performance received praise for its authenticity and depth. Another notable work was in St. Elmo's Fire, which further established her as a talented actress among the young stars of the 1980s. Sheedy's portrayal of complex characters in these films resonated with audiences and critics, earning her a place in Hollywood's spotlight. Collaborators and peers have noted her ability to bring unique characters to life, making her a respected figure in the film industry. These roles were crucial in shaping her career and cementing her status as a prominent actress of her time. Ally Sheedy, known for her role as Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club, expressed her dissatisfaction with her character's makeover in the film. She believed the change sent a wrong message that a girl needs to alter her appearance to be noticed by a boy. Sheedy, along with co-star Molly Ringwald, asked director John Hughes for a different ending that didn't involve makeup, hoping to show Allison's confidence in her simple white shirt rather than an over-the-top transformation. However, their request was not granted. In St. Elmo's Fire, Sheedy played Leslie Hunter and worked alongside a talented cast, many of whom she had shared the screen with in other films. This included previous collaborations with Rob Lowe and a shared appearance with Emilio Estevez and Judd Nelson in The Breakfast Club. The actors continued to work together in various movies following St. Elmo's Fire. Off-screen, Sheedy is the oldest sibling in her family, with a father who worked in advertising and a mother who was a literary agent. Her background contributed to her becoming the skilled actress we know today. Ally Sheedy, known for her work in film and stage, approaches acting with a deep understanding of her characters. She dives into their backgrounds, emotions, and motivations to bring them to life authentically. Her unique style comes from her ability to connect personally with her roles, drawing on her own life experiences to add depth to her performances. Sheedy's worldview, shaped by her advocacy for mental health, and equality often influences the role she chooses, aiming to bring attention to these important issues through her art. Her process is thorough, involving research and personal reflection, which helps her portray characters that are true to life and relatable to audiences. This dedication to authenticity in her craft has made her a respected figure in the acting community. Ally Sheedy brought life to the character Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club, a role she landed after her performance in War Games. While her character might be nicknamed Ally, her full name is Alexandra. An interesting detail from the film is the large sculpture in the library. Allison decorates it with lunch meat and Bender uses it for a wild ride. This sculpture looks very much like Standing Figure, Knife Edge by Henry Moore, a well-known British artist. It's possible that John Hughes, the director, got the actual sculpture for the film or had one made to look like it. There's a similar sculpture in Arkansas, showing that these pieces are made in more than one copy. Ally Sheedy, known for her role in The Breakfast Club, has been a significant figure in film. She helped shape the portrayal of teen characters in cinema during the 1980s. Her performances offered a fresh perspective on teenage life, steering away from stereotypes and bringing depth to her roles. Experts note that Sheedy's work paved the way for more realistic and relatable teen characters. Actors who followed have drawn inspiration from her ability to convey authenticity on screen. Her influence extends to how stories about youth are told, encouraging filmmakers to explore the true complexities of young adulthood. Ally Sheedy showed her unique talent in The Breakfast Club by playing a character who could play the piano with her feet, just like the famous scene from the movie Big. At only 12 years old, she wrote a book that became a bestseller, showing her early skill in writing. 
Later, she shared her personal journey through poetry in her book yesterday, I Saw the Sun, which includes poems from her childhood to her adult years, published in 1991. Ally known for her acting, also dedicates time to support causes close to her heart. She advocates for mental health awareness, drawing from her own experiences to help others. Shidi is also passionate about animal rights and often speaks out against animal cruelty. Her love for animals extends to her personal life, where she enjoys spending time with her pets. These personal interests and values show in her work, as she often chooses roles that reflect her beliefs and support for social issues. Shidi's commitment to these causes is a significant part of who she is, both on and off the screen. Ali Sheedy brought life to the character of Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club with a performance that felt real and relatable. At the time of filming, she was 23 years old, sharing the screen with Judd Nelson, who was 25, Molly Ringwald, and Anthony Michael Hall, both 16, and Emilio Estevez, 23. The director, John Hughes, once suggested Sheedy embody her character even off camera, to which she realized she already had much in common with Allison. Beyond the screen, Sheedy attended Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School alongside Lauren Marie Taylor. Their friendship has stood the test of time, remaining strong years after they first met. Ally Sheedy has been a familiar face in film and television, known for her roles that often challenge social norms. Her work has inspired many to pursue acting, showing that dedication and passion are key. She advises newcomers to stay true to themselves, work hard, and never stop learning. Shidi plans to continue acting and directing, hoping to tell stories that encourage and inspire. Her guidance for new actors is to find their unique voice, be patient, and always respect the craft and those they work with. By doing so, they can build a fulfilling career. Ally Shidi, known for her role as Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club, carries a rich heritage from her father's Irish and German roots and her mother's Ashkenazi Jewish background. Her contribution to the film extended beyond acting. She proposed using a David Bowie quote from his song changes for the movie's opening, which director John Hughes accepted. This line from Bowie's 1971 album Hunky Dory set the tone for the film. Additionally, Molly Ringwald, Sheedy's co-star, has expressed that her favorite line from the movie delivered by Sheedy's character is a poignant reflection on growing up when you grow up, your heart dies. Ally Sheedy's journey in the entertainment industry is a story of dedication and creativity. From her early days in film, she showed a unique ability to bring characters to life with depth and sincerity. Her roles have been diverse, showcasing her talent in both dramatic and comedic performances. Sheedy's work has inspired many, proving that with a strong will and continuous effort, one can achieve lasting success. Her career encourages us to believe in the power of our dreams and to keep pushing forward, no matter the obstacles. The story of Ally Sheedy reminds us that creativity and hard work are the keys to making a lasting statement in the world of art and entertainment. Ally Sheedy brought life to the character of Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club, where her performance stood out, especially in scenes where she, along with Brian and Carl, could make John laugh. This role connected her with a talented group of actors, all of whom shared screen time in various other films, creating a web of collaborations. From Weird Science to St. Elmo's Fire, and even on television series like Psych and Seinfeld, these actors crossed paths in their careers, showcasing their range and dedication to their craft. Shidi's personal journey also influenced her career choices. After overcoming a struggle with sleeping pill addiction, she took on the role in high art, portraying a photographer battling drug addiction. This role was not just another part to play, it was a reflection of her own experiences, adding depth to her performance. Her ability to channel personal challenges into her acting has resonated with audiences, making her performances memorable. Ally Sheedy, known for her role as Leslie Hunter in the film St. Elmo's Fire, has connections to entertainment industry figures through her family. She is related by marriage to Angela Lansbury and Bruce Lansbury, and was once married into the Lansbury family through Edgar Lansbury. In the music video for St. Elmo's Fire, Sheedy and her co-stars Emilio Estevez, Rob Lowe, Andrew McCarthy, Demi Moore, Judd Nelson, and Mayor Winningham are seen acting out their roles from the movie. Andy McDowell also makes an appearance in the video, though only in clips from the past. Ally Sheedy took on the role of a ticket agent in the movie Home Alone 2 Lost in New York, 
where she was the one to tell Kevin McAllister the city he had arrived in. In The Breakfast Club, she portrayed Allison Reynolds, a high school student alongside Emilio Estevez and Judd Nelson. The trio also played college graduates in St. Elmo's Fire that same year. John Hughes, who directed both films, personally recommended them for their parts. Ally Sheedy also honed her acting skills at the University of Southern California, sharing classes with Michelle Green. Ally Sheedy left a lasting impression in the film industry with her role as Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club. During a memorable scene, her character examines Prince's album 1999. Before this, at just 13 years old, she appeared on the television game show to tell the truth as the young author of She Was Nice to Mice. Years later, she would appear in Home Alone 2 Lost in New York as Pam Hopkins, a ticket agent, showcasing her range as an actress. Her work in The Breakfast Club remains notable, especially since the film was crafted by the talented John Hughes. Ally Sheedy brought life to the character of Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club with a performance that stood out for its silence. She never directly spoke to the authority figure, Richard Vernon, in the film. Instead, her interactions were limited to non-verbal cues like laughter and squeaks. In another instance, despite her talent, Sheedy missed out on a role in a league of their own due to her baseball skills not meeting the mark. Back in The Breakfast Club, Despite her usual preference for healthy eating, Sheedy's character experiences a sugar rush from a sandwich she consumes during the film, a rare departure from her character's typical diet. Ally Sheedy, known for her acting career, has a personal life that's just as noteworthy. Her only child, born Rebecca Elizabeth Lansbury on March 15, 1994, later became Beckett Lansbury. Beckett embraced his true self at Bard College, completing his transition to male and graduating in 2016. He continues to make a difference at Bard College, working in the Office of Gender Equity and sharing his knowledge as a teacher. In her professional life, Ally made a bold choice in 1986 by turning down a significant role in the hit film Top Gun, which Kelly McGillies ultimately played. This decision is a reflection of her thoughtful approach to her career. Behind the scenes, Ally's mother, Charlotte Sheedy, has been a force in the literary world of New York City. As a well-known literary agent, she has shaped many successful writing careers, undoubtedly influencing Ally's perspective on storytelling and the arts. Ally Sheedy left a lasting mark in the film industry with her role as Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club. Her character was part of a memorable change in the movie's direction when Molly Ringwald and Sheedy voiced their concerns about a scene they found inappropriate, leading to the removal of a character. Sheedy's career includes challenging roles where she portrayed victims of assault, showcasing her ability to handle serious and sensitive subjects. In Bad Boys and Macon County Jail, she brought depth to her characters, and in Our Guy's Outrage at Glen Ridge, she switched to the role of a detective, contributing to a narrative that addresses societal issues. Her work in The Breakfast Club continues to resonate, as highlighted in Susanna Gore's book, which explores the cultural impact of 1980s teen movies. These films, including Sheedy's performances, have shaped the way an entire generation views romance, friendship, and success. Ally Sheedy stood out in the 1980s as a key figure among a group of young actors known as the Brat Pack. This group included well-known names like Judd Nelson, Demi Moore, and Molly Ringwald. She was born early in the morning at 557 a.m. In the movie The Breakfast Club, she played Allison Reynolds, a role that became famous. The film had scenes that were removed before its release. One such scene showed her character, Allison, using a switchblade to break into a locker and finding a Prince album, which led her to comment on the teacher's humanity. The movie also had longer scenes showing the characters connecting with each other, like Allison and Andy sharing a kiss. Even the film's director, John Hughes, appeared briefly in the movie, but his scene was cut down to just a quick moment where he tells his on-screen son to buckle up as they drive away. These details show parts of the film that many have not seen, giving a glimpse into the characters' deeper connections and the creator's intentions. Ally Sheedy brought life to the character Jennifer in the movie War Games, sharing the screen with Barry Corbin as they both had roles on Hill Street Blues during that time. In The Breakfast Club, she portrayed Allison Reynolds, a role that contrasted with her later character as a sister to Molly Ringwald's Claire Standish in Betsy's Wedding. Her dedication to her craft was evident as she spent four months auditioning for the role of Jennifer, showing her commitment to the War Games project. Ally Sheedy's journey to becoming Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club began with an unexpected twist. 
Initially, she tried out for a different role in 16 Candles, but it was Molly Ringwald who secured that part. A mishap during set construction left Sheedy with two black eyes, which unexpectedly worked in her favor, giving her a unique look that director John Hughes couldn't forget. When the time came to find someone for Allison, Sheedy was the one he called. The connection between The Breakfast Club and the television show Psych is quite remarkable. Not only did Alan Sheedy appear in the series, but so did her co-stars Judd Nelson, John Kapilos, Molly Ringwald, and Anthony Michael Hall. They all guest starred in the show, creating a mini reunion of sorts. Emilio Estevez, though not in Psych, was humorously referenced by the character Sean. Behind the scenes, Sheedy had a sweet spot for Anthony Michael Hall, giving him the affectionate nickname Milk and Cookies due to his kind nature. Despite the friendly gesture, Hall was not a fan of the nickname, preferring to leave it behind the scenes. Ally Sheedy's journey into acting was not a straight path. As a young girl, she danced with the American Ballet Theater and was on track for a career in dance. However, the physical changes of puberty and the pressure to maintain a dancer's figure led to an eating disorder. This struggle made her leave dancing behind and turn to acting. Her love for animals is evident in her choice of pets. She has a rescued greyhound named Skye. Sheedy's role as Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club remains memorable, and she drew inspiration for her character from Sean Penn, her co-star in Bad Boys. Her portrayal of Allison's unique traits showcases Sheedy's ability to bring depth to her characters. Ally Sheedy shared a close bond with Demi Moore and Bruce Willis, evident in her role as a bridesmaid at their wedding. Her creativity shone through during her time as Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club. She came up with the idea to add Captain Crunch cereal to her sandwich, creating a noticeable crunch sound. Contrary to popular belief, the dandruff Allison sprinkles in the film was actually Parmesan cheese, not real dandruff. Sheedy's commitment to her role was clear, as she genuinely consumed a sandwich filled with pixie stick dust and sugar, making for an authentic on-screen moment. Ally Sheedy stood out as Allison Reynolds in The Breakfast Club, earning the title of Best Dancer among the cast. In the film, the characters' lunch choices reflected their personalities. Andrew had a hearty meal of chips, cookies, sandwiches, milk fruit, while Claire brought sushi, a new food trend at the time. Allison's sandwich was unique. Filled with pixie sticks and cereal, John had nothing, and Brian's lunch was a classic soup and sandwich combo. The movie also planned a scene to lighten the mood, featuring a peep into the locker room. However, Ally Sheedy and Molly Ringwald, supported by co-producer Michelle Manning, opposed the idea of unnecessary nudity, leading to a script change. Instead of a topless PE teacher, a janitor appeared in the scene. Karen Lee Hopkins, initially cast for the role, was unaware of the controversial scene and was surprised by her sudden exit from the film. She later found out about the original plan, which was never realized. Ally Sheedy has been a familiar face in film and television, winning hearts with her performances. Share your favorite moments from her career in the comments. If you enjoy content that celebrates actors who have shaped our viewing experience like this video, share it with friends and subscribe for more. Your support helps us bring more such content to you.